I am Dr. Th Th Nicholson, and this is my whiteboard. Sorry. This is my presentation. Uh, th and this, this is my presentation on why you should not have a girlfriend. Um, I think, or, uh, I think my assistant should introduce uh, part one. I think, yeah, my assistant will introduce part one on why you shouldn't have a girlfriend. And uh, I will do part two on why you should not have a girlfriend. Uh, uh, and here he comes right now. Look at him. Dr. Swag, PhD. Now, as you can see clearly, uh, you didn't write it down. No, I didn't do this. So unprofessional. So, go. Go. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes. Fiend. Equal. Bad. Bad. Wow. Obviously. Now, if we plug in the equation for cooties, it equals G for girlfriend plus height of girlfriend plus letters of name. Long letters. <laughs> for the people who don't understand the her, that sounds like <laughs> name. Times. On a scale of one to ten, <laughs> how pretty she is. Now that equals the cootie amount. Or Make sure everyone can see a uh, professor a swag or some girlfriend plus height of said girlfriend plus the wait. What about the weight? Hmm? What about you forgot the weight? You forgot, the fact, you forgot the fact of the weight. Oh yeah. Minus the weight. Earth. And that is why yes, you please. should not have a girlfriend. Now, as you can see, all of this can have astronomical effects on your cutie amount. Um, this is just the start. Eventually, after time, the effects get worse. Yes. So, at the end of about two minutes you will your, split up your cooties will go through the roof and you'll just become one humongous cootie cootie, yeah. cootie. yes so that was part 0 0.34 and here's the rest of part one okay so uh mr swaggerson will explain the thermodynamics uh Class, you guys have to write this down, otherwise you will fail your final exam. Absolutely. Thermodiwetsits can be equal girl fiend. Yeah, we don't call them girlfriends, we call them girl fiends because they're fiends. Exactly. And not, girls are fiends, not friends. Exactly. So, the thream equals the girl fiend so the, the 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 number of theorems is this much because like mass and uh, also the fiends they're like all of this because they know bueno mm -hmm. that was part one yeah 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 now we will move on uh to part two Thanks. Uh, yeah, okay. Make sure you guys write this down. Your assignment for the next two weeks is to, is to locate a, a couple and ask them about their relationship. Ask them about their relationship goals. I don't know if you have heard of that term before. It's usually so to the hashtag. <laughs> uh, uh, you can ask them 
like these questions like uh when will you guys break up and also um i'm a slow writer and also and also uh And also, I'm gonna have Swaggerson explain the rest of the assignment. So, you ask them about their goals. After you do that, you make those goals happen. So, say, girl and boy, they're, they're happy, but you ask them, when are they gonna break up? Well, you are gonna take your hammer and break them up, like science. We're not responsible for any damage or loss of appendages. Of course not. And then they're gonna be like, uh, oh, oh, no, what are we gonna do? And then uh, you're gonna- Drop your pen. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Anyway, there are more questions to ask the newlywed couple, like, such as, when uh, will you marry with three L's? <laughs> and that question is never, because they just split up, as you can tell from this diagram right here. They just split up, so you just fix their problem of not wanting to be married. Uh, part three out of two is coming later today. <laughs> uh, this could have been more planned. Mm-hmm. The end. Do you think we should make a script?